Seth Widener here. Today I'm going to show you how I built a new shot glass cabinet out of reclaimed lumber. Here is my old shot glass cabinet. It is full in this picture and I have quite a few shot glasses that are stored in other places. Here are the old 2x4s that I used to build this new cabinet out of. Uh, I got them from a little friend. They were in a barn sitting there for years. I ripped them in half on my table saw and trimmed them up a little bit. Basically got them down to a three quarter inch stock. Uh, these are the pieces freshly cut. Here are all the pieces for the cabinet, the shelves, and a door that I tried to make. Here is a mortiser that I used to uh, cut all the cups for the individual shot glasses. I used a inch and five-eighths Forstner bit that I mounted in there and then I had to block it up to be able to uh, control the depths of my cuts. And here are all the shelves ready to go. I used my Craig pocket hole jig to cut pocket holes in all the shelves and the top and bottom pieces for the cabinet. These are the pieces I cut for the door. Here was my dry fitting of the cabinet. Uh, as you can see, the one piece on the bottom of the picture did not fit well. I ended up having to go and trim the edges on all the pieces to make them all exactly the same length. This is a door off an old hutch that I had in my basement for quite a while. It got damaged and had to be thrown away but I saved the door because I wanted the glass for this shot glass cabinet. Here I have the cabinet together and I'm trying to figure out the door and how I'm going to cut this to get the glass in and get it all assembled correctly. Uh, ultimately my door was not very sturdy and I ended up going back to the door that I pulled the glass from and uh, sanding it down and using it. It worked out actually a lot better than I expected. And here's the cabinet all assembled. I just used a quarter inch plywood as the backer. Uh, you can see the shelves have a little bit of variation in color just because of the old lumber and I didn't sand it all down to, to bare fresh wood. This again is the, the old door uh, with the glass in it before I borrowed it. And then I ended up going back like I said and uh, sanding it all down actually using this door. I used a cherry stain to finish this cabinet uh, and then I had a, a, some wood knobs so I used one of those and I had some old hinges that I'd pulled off of something else. Uh, so basically I didn't buy anything for this except for the stain uh, and I polyurethaned it of course. And the shot glass first was a Colorado shot glass that I picked up this summer. And here's the cabinet hanging on the wall in my basement. Uh, it's mostly full in this picture, and since I put all these glasses in it, I found a few more that I had laying around, and some rocks, so it's basically full now. So uh, maybe I'll hang that old one back up and start filling it up again. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, hopefully my next ones will be more video and less pictures. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, provide any feedback. Thank you for watching.